Hello and welcome to Mandy's Creative Touch Advanced Practice Course. We're going to cover leaves today. That's right, all kinds of foliage, greenery, and we're going to talk about how they look in different seasons. I'm going to show you a bunch of different color options at the end, but for practice we're just going to stick with, you know, a couple colors, okay? So we've got some uh, sap green here and my go-to is usually like a citrus green and then we can always pop things up and change things by adding different colors and but for basic practice I suggest the gray sheets are the best because then you can really see the difference of the colors it doesn't matter if you're doing dark colors or light colors white colors they're all gonna stand up nicely for you as opposed to just doing it on white paper or black paper okay so try to find some gray paper somewhere and what I also like to practice on too if you haven't taken my intro program part the first five courses we do cover you know the one stroke leaf and you know getting you going on some vine type looks you know so we're gonna definitely bump things up today we're gonna teach you how to flip them and do all kinds of crazy things to them and add different dimensions to them and uh, yeah we're gonna have a lot of fun today so thank you so much for coming and um, wanting to advance your leaves so now we're going to play a little bit more okay so just to warm you up you know if you need some warm-ups remember to do this is like a big sale but this is how you do a lot of your Whiffs into your right, look to see if, did I start losing paint on which side? It looked like the dark side needed more, right? So I only picked up paint where I need it, okay? and then I can pop that right up over it. And I love working on wet on wet because you see what happened there? You get like a streak going on on both sides. Okay, so this looks more like uh, your spider plants. Get them all in your package today. And like I said, if you need a little bit more help in those, uh, we're going to play a little bit more now with these uh, these flips here. Okay. And again, I have a couple of different sheets there. That I put the best ones in the package. All right. Okay, so yeah, that's that's all in other courses. And again, I did another one, open face, and then again coming up behind it so you can double do your. I'll show you one of those with some other techniques coming up. Okay. So again, I've made a couple different practice sheets for this flip. All right, so you can see the dolphin nose. A little bit of a dolphin nose, squish, and then we're going to curl. Sometimes we are, you can come around and then come this way. All right. So play around with your dolphin nose. Okay. So that you start to get comfortable with flicking it. All right. So there's my dolphin nose. And this one here is going in this direction. But then when you pop up, you're giving your thumb a little twist. Did you see the top of my hand there? A little bit more interesting one. So you're doing your little hump and a little hump. All right. Show you that again. Hump. Hump. Right? This is, we're advancing you here now, okay? So just a whisk, whisk, whisk in the corner. And just as I'm getting into that area, I'm flattening my brush out. And then I'm starting to push a little bump. Pull, follow that line up a little bit. Okay, you gotta slide your arm with it too. And then... Okay, so that's just a little uh, recap on um, slider strokes and then changing for a dark on the outside 
and then we're going to play around with more light and dark back and forth through the upcoming videos. All right, it's wiggle time. All right, so this is a nice sheet that I have already made. And we're going to just work and practice on some wax paper to show you some few strokes here. Okay. So depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, you know, if you have a sheet full of, you know, right-handed strokes, do them all right-handed first and then try and concentrate on those same things and do a whole sheet of left-handed versions and all directions on the other side. So that way, you know, you get in the flow of things and then you're doing things as a more comfortable way of doing it for you. Okay. So when I do the thing with the dark on the outside, again, you know, you can start with the same Y. All right. And then that way it'll... So this is where you get into trouble, folks, is when you start flipping the dark leaves, okay? So this is where I recommend you flip your plate around. Okay, so then that way you can keep yourself focused. Because I'm trying to concentrate on teaching you at the same time as painting. And I'm going to mess up for sure. Alright, so now I'm at the right direction. I'm going to work to my plate, and I'm in the same direction as what I'm doing. Okay, so a lot of times I'll do all the darker leaves first, place them all, and then I do flip them around, and then I do the lighter leaves on the inside. So then, you know, you try to work the same way strategically so that you keep yourself focused. Okay, so if you want to just start doing some humpy looks, you know, this is your slower waltz. You know, just there's like basically three humps in there and pointed. Okay. My gradient is still, my brush is still good, and I'm going to have no problem being able to match the color. Okay, so it's just soft little humps, soft, and then you're, point, you're finishing with like a one stroke leaf. Okay, but you're trying to keep your, you know, line pretty straight there for the tip. Okay, so of course we don't like the top. It's very common, especially the angle that I'm at too. I'm finding while I'm teaching, I'm having a harder time with that. Well, um, we've been uh, just playing around here on paper, but I also have this practice sheet here too for you guys as well. And if you took my shell strokes, this is very similar to the practice we did in with the shell strokes, but it's just trying to get you, you know, with your different types of wiggles, right? So your tighter one, looser one, and then in different directions as well, right? And then, so you can have this sheet here as well. There's some warm-up strokes with some different gradients here. And we talk about that in shell strokes. So, um, again, if you need to recap or need to go back a couple steps, uh, please go and check out my intro to the five basic courses to get you everywhere you need to be. And then after that, you'll be picking up on these leaves like nothing. Just to remind you now of our shell strokes. Okay, this was in number five okay so there's a lot of color theory and play in number five as well so if you want to come up with a lot of different colors and you have um, so this was actually one that I redid because uh, I kind of messed up so I'm going to just put paint on the outside of it and so what we're doing now is adding some shell stroke in there too on each side all right so we have more of an arrow now instead of a Y we're gonna have an arrow okay so just give yourself that arrow so that you can guide yourself and then we're gonna do our shell stroke so we can go right around okay there's our shell stroke now you're just gonna carry it on and do your interesting little finish with your one stroke leaf. Okay, so in the beginning, if you want to turn it around so that you see what you're doing, left handed version, and your pivot point is always in the same place, just like a shell stroke, 
and then you can move up a little bit. Oh, gotta pick up a little bit more. Move up a little bit and carry on. And even having that little break makes it look a little bit interesting too. Right? So you don't always have to just keep going, you know. Or you can do one side a little different than the other side. Right? And then I just tried to be a little bit more wiggly on that side in a different direction. On to another project. So keep practicing that until you feel comfortable to move on. Okay? It may take you a few weeks to, to get through all this. You know, take your time and really practice slow. You don't have to get this overnight. Okay, here's another little variation of, of layering a couple of different strokes on top of each other. If you have a, a big leaf like that, it's going to be sitting maybe sideways this way, and you know it's getting older, so it's starting to flop over, right? So you can see I did two little ones and then a big one, and then I pivoted my brush around, right? And then you can see how I did that to your uh, dolphin nose in there, okay? So you can do it just a little bit smaller. And it'll look a little bit more, you know, proportioned, a little bit more not so drooped. Okay, so this is really exaggerated. And in the beginning, yours are going to probably look like that too because it, it's going to take you some practice, right? You're going to, you know, be a bigger, and then you're going to sit there and just do a whole page of dolphin noses to remind yourself, you know, to, to come in a little tighter and, you know, a little smaller or then a little bit more wavy and then in, right? And then what you're going to do next is then you're going to come down and around and then you're going to add a, a little bit of a shell movement in there, all right? So slowly but surely, you're going to advance yourself through making these leaves look even more advanced and more advanced and your creativity is going to come into play more and more. So again, we can always go in and fix it. And then this is where we can always get a little bit more creative. And add some interesting okay, so keeping your brush pretty straight over and then as you're coming into the to fold you're coming straight down into the wisp and just keep practicing you'll get there okay this is called advanced leaves for a reason all right so you see how I just did that, right? So this is going to be getting you into the next section of the leaf where I really start doing a lot of back flipping. And then you can practice more with more dramatic. You know, really playing with it. Okay. So. And then coming down a couple times. And just going up and down and then up all right so let's just try to push this again down down rock a little faster down 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 rock a little faster okay so you can just keep playing and isn't that okay if you like my my little lessons on how to get these looking for you Okay, rewind, stop, watch it again, and again, and again, okay, I know you can do it, remember these, have you guys done one to five, yes you do, I have a little freebie on YouTube that you can watch this in fast motion, Okay, guys, so I'm not going to repeat the daisy stroke style of leaves and ferns, okay, because I've done this already, and like I said, the freebie of a fast version is there, 
If you're feeling comfortable with your daisy strokes, maybe this will just inspire you to, to do some different things. I am going to come up with another advanced class for scroll work. Okay, so these are kind of like an introductory to scroll, scroll work and uh, give you a bunch of exercises to make real daisies and also using the daisy stroke to, to create leaves as well. Okay, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on here because I've already have a tense enough uh, program for you here just on the advanced <laughs> leaves and... Um, it's packed full already, so um, definitely I encourage you to jump back over onto the daisies, and that's in class number, or course number four, okay, and um, and get brushed up on your daisy strokes, okay, so lots more little um, projects there, and if you're frustrated with your backflip of your, you know, the last leaf there, you know, and you really want to just take some time to, to practice more with them, you know, when you need a break, do something totally, totally different. Go revisit number three with the liner brush. Go revisit this daisy course and do something totally different and then come back and play with your shell strokes again, okay? Okay, I was just about to start to put some colors on my palette, but I thought I would just throw in a bunch that would be really good for leaves. Um, and then you can play and make more variations and see where you get yourself in trouble and where you don't because it's all a learning experience and it's just all about having fun with it. If you've seen some of my pictorials I've done on for some commissions, I did some uh, calla lilies uh, and they were done all in mono chromatic style and that's you know just with the cinnamon burnt omber and cameo okay so they make wonderful blends to to make some autumn style leaves and it's gonna be like totally off okay and then maybe a little bit more darker with this okay so now you're starting to look more like the berry wine if you if you play around with the um, blue and the magenta enough and I didn't add any more burnt ombre in there just what was in there but then I added a lot of blue and, and the cooler tones right into that burnt ombre now I've got like a purpley color going on like a uh, mulberry kind of muted purpley color right so even though I said I wasn't putting any purples on my plate I still ended up with one Go figure, eh? Me and my purple. I love purple. That is my favorite, but I love all colors too, right? So I hope this is a fun little exercise for you too, just to get you out of your box and try to do some really wacky things that are opposites and make some mud. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, I hope you like my little fast forward kind of recap on a few things and you picked up on a few more tricks. Okay, I have to show you a little bit more. So I hope you're as lucky as I am to have you here with me as a blessing and I had to finish it with a couple, you know, shamrocks. And so thanks so much for joining me for the advanced leap course. And I can't wait to see your practice. If I haven't said it enough, you know, I just, I look forward to seeing it. I want to see you evolved and, and seeing all those steps throughout the pro program is, uh, 
you know, just really exciting to me and really rewarding that you're getting something out of it. Honestly, like, the more you guys tell me that you're loving them and it's working for you and it helped you, the more I will make. I will. Because, you know, I'm helping you and that's what I want to continue to do. And anyways, I've uh, taken up enough of your time. I hope you love the backflips and all the cha-chas and, and everything that we've done through this practice course. And uh, we'll see you at the next practice course. Happy painting, guys.